Anyway, it's there now. Let's test it, right? Oh, MG, it's not working. Why? It's annoying me now. Why is it not working? Because it's not in the Minecraft jar file, okay? So what we need to do is go into here, documents, Minecraft mods. Let's open that one in a new window. Right. No, no, yeah, I guess. Okay. So, go we'll one to our jars, bin, Minecraft, open that with 7-zip. Okay. And our temp folder where we had all our terrain and stuff, right? So we're going to drag our mods thing into there. Now remember, whenever you export your mod, like you re-obfuscate all the classes and stuff, put it in a zip file, put it up for download on the Minecraft forums or something, you also need your images of, you also need your images and stuff, otherwise everybody in the world, except you, will get a black screen, as I just did right now. So we copied the images in there, X that out, X, X, and we don't even have to save this because it didn't change anything. I'm going to run it. This always happens when you add a new texture. So we're just going to stop it and try again. So we're going to single player, create new world, test. I'm waiting for that. And we will take our dirt and make our awesome. Okay, for dirt, right? Let's see if we can do that. Ooh, it looks so cool. Okay, there's a problem here. Why? Out of bounds exception. Get brightness. It's it's too bright apparently. Yeah, definitely too bright. Okay, so we might have no idea what we're talking about here, but what I do know is that if we go to block and we look through, I don't know, let's look for like glowstone, right? Glowstone up here. And find glowstone, right? Let's look for it again. Sorry, one second. Control F, find. Here we go. Glowstone, new block, glowstone. Set hardness, glass footstep. Set light value is 1.0F. That's glowstone, okay? Look for a torch, maybe. Control F. Torch. Find. Block torch. Nah. Hmm? Torch wood, exactly. So not torch redstone. Torch wood. What does a torch give us? Light. Apparently there's no light value. 0 0.9 something. It's not even 1. So, apparently 1 is the highest, I think. So it can't have our light value to 2 anymore, it has to be 1. So let's save that and run it. Single player, load our world. So we have it, and if I click, boom. It looks like some kind of awesome netherrack, really. It looks awesome. So, break that. And let's go somewhere dark. Deep in the ground where light cannot be found, I guess. Run a little bit. Okay, I think it's about as dark as it gets. So let's put this down first. Oh wow, you can see the difference already. And block off the light. So, oh my gosh, it's brightening up. It, it's light, it's working. Awesome. Okay, yeah, let's go back up there. Uh, I'm kind of scared of the dark over here. Minecraft made me paranoid about light. Don't want zombies spawning under my feet. So, let's go back up. Boom, we got our new light, and it has a custom texture, and it looks awesome, too. I mean, look at this. It looks so cool. Okay, so, isn't that awesome? Next tutorial is going to be about making an item, okay? After that, I've decided that I'm going to discontinue this tutorial series, okay? It's no longer going to be Minecraft for the beginner. Once I'm done with the item tutorial, you guys should be able to look at up, look up at like the existing things. Like if you look at the existing block cactus and stuff, even like I did during this tutorial, 
I don't even remember half the stuff myself. A lot of this is just copy, paste, and modify, as I call it, CPM, copy, paste, modify. After I'm done with the image, with the um, item tutorial, I'm going to stop making basic Minecraft tutorials. I will stop explaining every little bit. Okay. After that, I will make a different Minecraft um, tutorial. Oh, what am I doing? I do not want to open up Komodo. One second, sorry. Komodo. Okay. So what I instead of, instead of making it Minecraft modding for beginners or something. Sure, I spelled something wrong in there. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't have spelling correction. Instead of making it that, I'm going to make advanced modding tuts for Minecraft. Okay, I'm going to make a different series. This series is going to have, instead of how I'm showing you guys how to do it from the ground up, this will have existing existing um, projects that I'm going to be working on and I'm going to be modifying them and I'm going to show you guys how to do certain things like making a block respond to redstone rendering it differently like a like a bed or a ladder or something else you know that's what I'm going to be doing so the item tutorial for next time is going to be the last one of the beginner series after that I'm going to do the advanced series and that will go more in depth for each and every single like I don't know what I'm doing right for example when I'm doing redstone I'm gonna go a whole lot into metadata that I'm sure you've never heard of until right now unless maybe you read something somewhere anyway yeah enough of me talking let's what did I do I didn't change anything right so there's no I'm just gonna control Z so I don't have to save anything no no control Y I want that one right so let's leave it at this now thank you for watching and subscribing to my what's it called you can continue watching because after my edit tutorial I will let you off so that you can understand anything and everything having to do with the Minecraft world. Goodbye for today. <laughs>
or you could just drop this into your um mods folder for Minecraft. You know, like the mods folder that's already there. Um, if you go to your, I don't know, let's check this app data in Minecraft. This mods folder exists. If you're using Mod Loader, you could always drop it in here and it'll automatically load the mod. So, yep, there it is. My first two videos are up. This third one is coming up in the next few minutes. So please watch them. <laughs>